Welcome, you're watching Hat to Hat. I'm Antonina Antosha with UA TV. Ten Ukrainian veterans of the war in Donbass will take part in the 43rd Marine Corps Marathon in the U.S. this October. Ukrainian team will participate in the event for the third time. The selection of this year candidates for the marathon will take place on July 20th here in Kiev. To talk more about this, we're joined in the studio today by Major General Volodymyr Havrilov. He is the curator of Marine Corps Marathon and the Catering Yomp 18 projects in Ukraine. Hello and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, uh, as I have already mentioned, uh, Ukrainian veterans of the war in Donbass are not new to participating in those uh, military drills, because we've had Catherine Yomp, uh, 18, which was not that long ago, and now uh, Ukrainian veterans are getting ready to, to participate in the Marine Corps Marathon in the U.S. for the third time. What is similar in between those two exercises? Uh, both exercises, uh, they're uh, directed to the special category of military. It's about wounded warriors. It's about former military who took part in different international conflicts. Mm. And uh, the main goal of this competition to find the best way to rehabilitate them and to integrate them to the real civil society. And uh, Ukrainian team and Ukrainian wounded war uh, warriors, they started to take part in this kind of uh, competitions from 2016. Mm -hmm. The first time our uh, small team of wounded uh, soldiers attended a Marine Corps marathon in Washington, D.C. In 2016? 16, mm -hmm. yes. Thanks to the partners from United States, they have so-called Allied Forces Foundation. It's a foundation uh, is created to support American and British uh, veterans mm -hmm. and uh, wounded warriors. Mm -hmm. And they it, and also decided to invite Ukraine because of our situation. And also Georgia is there because mm -hmm. they had a history of conflict with yeah. Russia. Well, as well. As well. All right. And uh, they, uh, we started with them with Marine Corps Marathon in Washington, D.C. And from uh, 2018 this year, we also uh, attended and, and joined the project they have in Britain, in Scotland. It's about uh, cross-terrain hiking for wounded soldiers mm -hmm. for 40, 54 and 84 kilometers. Mm -hmm. And our team was there for the, for the first time. It was a pilot project for us. How did we do? Uh, they, they were the best. They, they were best. Uh, six guys with different histories, with stories, with different wounds. One of them, uh, amputees, uh, with high amputee. They started together as a team. Mm -hmm. The first one uh, finished 40 kilometers amputee. And the rest of the team, five of them, they were the first in the category, in the end of the 84 kilometers. Real heroes. Wow. So uh, they uh, really impressed all participants of the competition, including all supporting teams which were presented there. What would you say the competitors actually get out of such competitions? Well, except for rehabilitation itself, what kind of feeling does participating in such events give them? It's, it's not about the result. It's not about the time. It's not about who is first, who is second. It's about communication between uh, people with the same problems. It's about testing themselves as a human beings, as a people who suffered a lot during the war and who would like to find a place in uh, civil life after that. Mm -hmm. It's all about uh, people trying to restore the mental health through physical uh, efforts mm -hmm. and through uh, communication and discussion and meeting and, and talking with people like them. And that is the core of the rehabilitation in that kind of competition. Mm -hmm. I've already mentioned that uh, the um, tryouts for the team uh, which will go and represent Ukraine at the Marine Corps uh, Marathon in the U.S. is going to be happening on July 20th here in Kiev. What are the main requirements uh, for a former soldier, for a veteran to actually make the team? And uh, how many are there those willing to participate? Uh, usually we have a lot of people trying to get a place in this competition and uh, the number is uh, increasing every year. The key requirements, of course, uh, is about wounded soldiers. They have to be uh, participants of uh, the last conflict. Mm -hmm. They have to present the 
qualification that they were treated as a wounded soldier. Second, they have to be physically uh, well, just to run 10 kilo, 10 kilo, kilometers or 42 kilometers. It's a strong, uh, it's a very tough uh, challenge. Mm -hmm. And this year, uh, together with American side, we uh, pay attention to the language, to language. So we prefer that Ukrainian team so outside of Ukraine should could know English, right? Know English and be ready to communicate with others mm -hmm. because it's a part of the rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. It's not about to present Ukraine at the competition only. Of course, it's important for our guys to, to be there and to try themselves, but it's also about talking to others. And language is a key instrument in mm -hmm. that. So th those three uh, requirements are key requirements, and we will see. We will see. For Catherine Yomp in Scotland this year, we also had a similar requirement. And uh, language was also oh, one yes, of the key requirements. Language was right? a key, mm -hmm. uh, it was the a principal key. requirement. All six uh, soldiers who were in Scotland, they could communicate all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but to find those six persons was a real challenge because among 60 candidates, only five or six were ready to talk in some kind of way in mm -hmm. English. And uh, we tried to encourage our veterans, our soldiers, to, to learn. learn foreign languages. Of course, English is a preferable one because it's more used. Uh, and it will help them to see the world, to talk to others, and to rehabilitate themselves mm -hmm. in a more efficient way. Well, uh, the team of those six veterans who made it to the Catherine Young 18, uh, maybe you would like to share a bright story uh, that happened to one of them after they came back. What, like, maybe somebody's life changed drastically after participating in this competition. Uh, we have an experience with other teams uh, from Marinko Marathon, for example, 2016, share. 2017. The first marathon in 2016, uh, all four guys were very special at the mm -hmm. beginning because they were very motivated. Some of them uh, become a different persons after that. For example, Vadim Sviridenko, uh, our very known hero, uh, full amputee, no legs, no arms. And uh, he was rehabilitated and treated in the United States military hospital. And after the hospital, uh, I advised him to take part in that marathon. And the first question was how I can do it. And I told him, you can do it because there are so many in the world like you, and they can do it. And he, he was the best in his category during this uh, marathon. And now he's a, a special representative of the president of Ukraine uh, to coordinate our rehabilitation efforts. Wow. So he's very active now. He recently visited our uh, western part of Ukraine uh, to attend uh, um, a competition for our wounded warriors. Uh, he also will be present on the 20th of July on, on the test of our next team. Mm -hmm. Other guy, uh, he is now very active in local politics in his region. Mm -hmm. Uh, another one is very active in his uh, small city in the south of Ukraine, just uh, supporting our wounded soldiers in the training for Invictus Games or like that. Uh, so basically, people who actually participate in this type of events do not just come back uh, socially, I'm sorry for using the word, but socially normal, like they can actually flow into the uh, life of the society of the country they are citizens of, but they can do even more. Like you just said that one of the guys is in politics and the other one is helping the other wounded veterans. So they are actually approaching a higher goal here. Uh, I always say to all of them that uh, after the competition, you have to be not only the fully integrated in the social life, you have to be the best example for others and you mm -hmm. have to encourage others to uh, join the efforts. And uh, thank you, thanks to all of them, including 2017 uh, team, they've done a great job. Mm -hmm. They've done a great job. Uh, many of them from the team 2017 now were very, very active in the areas and they supporting others. Uh, they present uh, the light in the end of the tunnel for mm -hmm. many 
uh, veterans who are in a very depressed situation now. And once again, I would like to use the chance to uh, remind we have more than 10,000 wounded soldiers and number is increasing because of the conflict. We have among them more than 500 amputees. All of them need uh, a lot of attention and support. In the United States, they have 22 suicides per day among veterans. Uh, in Ukraine, in some period, we had up to five per week. For us, it's a lot. All suicides is about human condition. Mm -hmm. It's all about integration to civil society. It's all about the attitude of the society, civil society and the government to that category of people. It's a challenge not only for those wounded soldiers, it's a challenge for the society. And Ukraine is doing their best. I, I am very grateful to our people, uh, to all of them, especially volunteers and also many military. So we have a lot of good stories in this area. And the United States and military, American military, are very excited how much we uh, achieved during the last two years, two or three years, Is trying to integrate our people. Is this because we are very active at uh, learning from the experience of other countries who have also survived through an armed conflict? Uh, first of all, yes, we uh, are very grateful, uh, grateful to our partners, and uh, for example, Allied Forces Foundation, our partners in this competition. But for me, it was a very positive excitement to see how society, civil society in Ukraine is mature mm -hmm. in, in relation to the wounded uh, warriors. Uh, you can see the pictures of uh, meeting uh, our boys from uh, operations in the small cities on TV screen yeah. with a lot of public present. Uh, you can not see that in other countries. Uh, in the United States, it's uh, also very, very nice. And they uh, res they have a huge respect to our society in the United States because of that. And we have to encourage everybody in this country to uh, pay attention to that category of people because it's all about the f huge family of Ukrainians. That's important. Let's stay as united as we are right now. I mean, our huge family of Ukrainians. Thank you so much for coming and for having this conversation. Thank you for having me. That was Major General Volodymyr Havrilov. He is the curator of Marine Corps Marathon and the Catherine Yom 18 projects in Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more.